Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install spark plugs on a 2006 Nissan Frontier. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and take off these two bolts that hold the cover on. And then what you want to do is just pull straight up and they're held in by these little rubber things. So if you just pull straight up, it'll come off. Um, you see I'm struggling here a little bit, but yeah, just like I said, pull straight up and it'll come off. And let's work the intake. So take the hose clamps off both sides here. There's going to be two on this side and there's going to be two on the other side of the intake, this intake piece. So there's the other two uh, connected to the throttle body. So go ahead and loosen those. And just a note, you're going to need an 8, a 10, and a 12 millimeter socket for this install and an Allen wrench. So once you do that, take this hose clamp off. And then go ahead and take these two uh, screws out, bolts out that hold uh, this piece, the intake piece in, the, in place. And then you can remove this piece of the intake. So just pull it straight out and it should come right out. And then we want to work the throttle body. So it's a five millimeter Allen key. So if you have the sockets, it'd be a lot easier. So I'll link those in the description because it, this was kind of difficult with just a little Allen, the actual key and not sockets. So take the four throttle uh, bolts out. And then you can remove the throttle body. Uh, do not connect, disconnect it because it's an electronic throttle body. So it's going to screw up the timing and everything if you do that. So just unbolt it and leave it alone. And then you can go ahead and take off this hose here. And then what we want to do is take this hose off at the back of the plenum. And then take this one clip out. So this clip is a little bit tricky. Uh, what you want to do is there's this plastic piece that is holding it in place to the metal bracket. So you need to push it in and pull up at the same time. And so there I'm just showing you the actual uh, clip piece in the middle there. So you need to push that back, hold it, and then pull up on the plug uh, cable for it to come out. And then go ahead and just move these two uh, holders. Uh, so use your needle nose pliers and squeeze it and then push it back and it'll come out of the little bracket there. And this will just give you more room when you remove the plenum. Once we've done that, then go ahead and unplug this plug. And then take this bolt off and move this canister. And we're going to start with the plenum bolts. So there's seven plenum bolts. There's one, two, there's two on the inside part that's a little bit harder to get to. And then basically the last one is gonna be in the back. So that one's a little bit tricky to get to, but it's not too bad. I'll go ahead and loosen all of these. And then for the back one, way by the firewall, um, what I found was easiest was there's a plug in the way. So this plug here, so go ahead and just remove that and then take that last bolt out in the back. I got, I got it with a three inch uh, extension. So if you want to use a six inch with like a swivel joint or something, you can, but I just found it easier to do the three inch. Once we've done that, then there's two more bolts. So there's two bolts here on the passenger side of the plenum um, that's just bracket holding it in place. So there's a second one near the firewall. So go ahead and take those two out and then you can actually remove the plenum. There we go. So it's held on by the, or it's lined up by the tool da two dowel pins. So just lift it straight up and you'll be able to get it out. And then we can actually get to the actual install, which is the spark plug. So go ahead and take off the bolts that holds the coil pack in place. You don't need to unplug them either. There's enough room with the wiring that you can just pull the uh, coil pack straight out. So once we've done that, then we want to get the spark plug out. So I use a little breaker bar here because it just makes it a lot easier. And I have a three inch and a six inch, six inch extension with my deep uh, socket, deep spark plug socket. So as you can see, the spark plug was in really bad shape. So these need to be changed really bad. So it's a good thing we're changing them. And everything else is in reverse order. So put the new spark plug in when the 
uh, when your socket wrench is tight, then you want to screw it in another quarter turn and that's like the correct torque for it. And then go ahead and put your coil pack back in, put the bolt back in so it's secured and tighten that up. And then we're gonna change the gaskets on the inside of the plenum here. So you should have some sort of kit where basically it comes with these uh, gaskets and the throttle body gasket. So literally just remove from the tab there and then just uh, put the new ones in. You just push them in and they should stay in place. Once we've done that, line the plenum back up with the dowel pins and then uh, it should go straight down. So there it's going straight down and then make sure it's you know flush and then everything else is in reverse order. So we're gonna put the all seven screws back in, bolts back into place. Once we've done that, then once you get the back one, put the plug back in. And then go ahead and put this bolt back in for the canister there. And plug the plug back in. Then go ahead and put the two screws that hold the bracket in place on the passenger side of the plenum. So there's the first one, second one is in the back. So I just used, didn't even need an extension. If you want to use a three inch, you could probably get it in there with a three inch too. And then put this uh, holder back on for the big cable, wire cable there. Take off the gasket for the throttle body, put the new gasket on. Just line it up. It's easy with these this kit because it has the, or I guess this car because it has the little tabs on top. So line that up, put the gasket in, and then go ahead and put the four bolts that hold the throttle body on. And then put your hoses back on. So put this one on, make sure to clamp it correctly. There we go, slide the clamp up into place. And then put the other hose on here, same thing, and put the clamp on correctly as well. And then put the this piece of the intake back on, so slide it back onto the throttle body and make sure it's uh, you know installed correctly on the other side. Uh, tighten the four hose clamps. So two on the throttle body, two on the other side. There's the other side. Oh, this is the other side. And then go ahead and put those two screws back in for the top piece to secure it in place. Make sure to put this hose clamp back on the intake piece with the actual clamp. And then just put the cover back on with the two screws, the two bolts, and that's it. So if you thought the video was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.